Hi all, uh, with a melatoid deformity there is excessive flexion at the distal interphalangeal joint. In our patient um, here, the third, fourth and fifth toes were involved. When you look straight down at the foot, uh, with melatoes the ends of the toes are not visible. And when you look at the front on picture, you can see that flexion deformity uh, at the distal interphalangeal joints as mentioned. The long flexor tendons attached to the ends of the toes are uh, pulling the distal interphalangeal joints into this position. The first part of the surgical procedure involves releasing this tendon. This is done through a small incision under the toe, approximately one millimetre in length. Uh, here I used a 61 blade uh, to achieve this percutaneous release. All rigid malato deformities will require some form of bony correction. Uh, the procedure in this video describes an osteotomy of the intermediate phalanx or the middle of the three bones within the toe. It is very important to protect the small nerves and blood vessels that innervate the toe. This will minimise the amount of swelling post-operatively. Here the bone cut was performed by a straight Shannon Burr. Okay. See the bone that's cut there? And it'll be put in this much. Is that easy to see? Mm -hmm. Wait. No. You get that hand out. So once we finish with them, they'll be there. Yes, mm -hmm. we can pause it. Another one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is from that angle uh, there so you can see it straight on so they can see what it looks like. No. Thanks, Bill. That's it.